Hello and welcome to LFC Focus. Liverpool have just lost 2-1 to Crystal Palace in what was a very, very poor performance from them. If you ask me, Coutinho and Mignolet are the only players that can really come out of that match with any sort of pride. Mignolet was faultless for both of the goals. He was really badly let down by his defence both times. Coutinho was the only player on the pitch who ever really looked like creating anything and even he disappeared towards the last hour because he again was the only one being asked to actually do anything so he was obviously knackered after 60 minutes. Everyone else just played so poorly. I mean Lovren had an absolute shocker in defence and Joel Matip didn't look like the player he's looked like earlier on in the season there. Positioning was all over the shop. They weren't defending properly from really simple situations like the first goal was bad enough but the second goal for me was simply unforgivable because not only did they allow a ball that shouldn't have even got past the first man because it was low, it wasn't threatening at all, it was easy for a player like Firmino to clear, he was the one who was the first man who should have cleared it away and yet about three different players just let it go past them when they all should have tried to get something on it to get it out and then no one picks up Christian Benteke. I mean Crystal Palace had about four players in the box for that corner and one of them was Christian Benteke so you'd think that we'd at least have maybe two players on him one of our centre backs but no one was on him and he was just allowed to freely run past all of our defenders and head in past Mignolet who was completely helpless the goal from Coutinho was fantastic I'll give that to him it was nice to see him carry on getting more and more goals and becoming the player that Liverpool kind of need to be their talismanic player but we can't rely on him alone to win games especially when the rest of the team is just going to play that poorly and you can't even give that much credit to Crystal Palace for that game because they didn't really play that well in my opinion I mean they defended kind of well but Liverpool were predictable in the ways that they attacked so it didn't really take a genius to stop them from scoring from open play in that game and attacking wise they created pretty much nothing I mean the first goal was all right. It was a pretty good move from them. They created a couple of chances after that. But the second goal, they didn't even need to really put in that much effort or quality to score it. Because again, Liverpool just gifted them the winner in that match. And just nothing went right for Liverpool today. You know, the defending wasn't good enough. The midfield was slow and was crying out for a player like Adam Lallana to link up play between the midfield and the attack. So hopefully he'll be back against Watford so we can actually have someone link the midfield and the attack and make the play a little bit more seamless. Because like I said, we were just so predictable. I mean, everything the midfield did, did was completely telegraphed and Palace could see it coming from a mile off. And that meant that the same was the case for the attack. I mean, Coutinho was reduced for most of the game to just trying to shoot from range again and again and again. And Palace saw it coming. Firmino was all right. He put in a little bit of effort, but he never really looked like creating anything. Divock Origi was just useless. I mean, to be fair to him, he's a young player. He's a young striker, so he's going to have good games and bad games. But He's just not the kind of player that we can rely upon at such a crucial stage in the season at this point. And it's just unfortunate that Liverpool have got so many injuries and it shows how much we are going to need to recruit in the summer because it's not just quality in the starting eleven that we need. It does look like it's going to be need to be squad depth as well that we need to invest in because our squad at this stage, despite us not having European football or getting to the latter stages of any of the cup tournaments, obviously we got knocked out of the League Cup in January around the same time we got knocked out of the FA Cup. Our squad still looks really thin on the ground. I mean, you only have to look at our bench, which was full of mostly academy players and no real first teamers to know that Liverpool really need to strengthen. As for the fight for the top four, I wouldn't say it was a fatal blow to our hopes of playing Champions League football next season because depending on how results go, especially the Manchester derby on Thursday, things could still work out well for Liverpool. But it does mean that it's probably going to go to the wire. I mean, whatever happens between now and the end of the season, whatever results Liverpool or Man City or Man United or Arsenal get, I think it is going to come down to the final day and we are going to need a little bit of luck as well of a lot of quality to get the top four. But hopefully we can still do it. We just need to learn a lot from that performance and not play like that again between now and the end of the season. That's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back later on in the week to build up to the game against Watford. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new around here and follow at LSC Focus TV on Twitter. Bye for now.